Hello, Scorpio. Happy holidays. This is going to be a reading for December 16th through the 31st, 2021. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome if you are new. Um, I will go through the messages that came through for you when I uh, tuned into your energy clairvoyantly, and then I will pull some tarot cards and some oracle cards uh, for any final messages for you. If you are interested in a clairvoyant psychic reading or healing or distance energy therapy, um, I provide those globally and have been for four years now. So the link below to my website Site. All the information is there. I also offer a 15% discount for your very first healing session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you um, feel called to do so. Okay. So Scorpio, when I was tuning in with your guys's energy, it was really, really beautiful. I was shown that um, for a lot of you, you have beautiful friends, beautiful family. You're doing work that you enjoy. From the outside, life looks good. You look like you are doing everything that you want and desire. But what I was picking up within you um, is a, at a soul level, there is a strong desire for change, for growth, for things to be different. Um, I was almost seeing uh, a little bit of, I don't want to say inner turmoil, but like this inner struggle between like, questioning why aren't I happy I have everything that you know I've wanted people look at me and think that I'm happy and content but at a soul level there is a discontentment there is a yearning and a desire for more um, to go deeper and with that I feel for the remainder of this year you'll be spending a lot of time in like deeper self-reflection, reminiscing how huge this year was, all the growth that you've been through, the change. Um, and with that kind of unsettled feeling within the soul, you know, the soul is wanting change, wanting more. It can feel quite uncomfortable when we're in that space. So there's a really strong message for you coming through to give yourself permission to lean into that uncomfortableness, to lean into, um, you know, looking at why there's a discontent at a soul level. What can be shifted? What is available for you? Sometimes we could just kind of want that feeling to go away, but that doesn't help it. So um, again, strong message is to give yourself permission to really dive deep. You are Scorpio. You're all about deep and the depths of your soul and transformation. So this is the perfect time for that. Okay. Um, I was also really seeing a desire for contribution or a way to give back to humanity in some way, shape, or form. So I really see um, the desire to help at a bigger level and the personality doesn't know how to do that. So it can feel really overwhelming when you have this desire from the soul, but then, you know, the mind and the personality just cannot fathom it or understand it. So that's where this like inner push pull energy that I was seeing within you. Um, I also saw a really beautiful image of um, like forests, like these huge old trees just with so much wisdom and the deepest roots. And that is a message for you that time in nature uh, is going to be really important for you during this holiday season. The hustle and the bustle and the high energy of the holidays may be a little bit overwhelming for you. So really taking time to tune in with yourself, connect within, get to that quiet place is going to help keep you really grounded and charged up um, for the holidays uh, so that you don't get burned out. Um, I was also hearing a really strong message and also seeing it that um, because there's this deeper discontent within you at a soul level, uh, part of you it might be making yourself wrong for feeling that way. So um, something that was very clearly shown for me was to let you know that you don't need to make yourself wrong for feeling that way. It is completely normal. It is part of the evolution of the soul. It is part of the journey. So again, give yourself permission to lean into that feeling instead of making it wrong or judging it um, or pushing it aside. And again, this can be happening because in the 3D world, you have a beautiful life. You have work, you have friends, you have family, you have a home to live in, you have everything. What more can you need? But this deeper desire that I've seen for you is really coming from a soul level. And it's like the soul and your current um, personality want to come more into alignment here. Okay, so that was that's what I was seeing kind of as a whole. 
For those of you dealing with a specific person, so if you are in a relationship or you have a specific significant other that you are involved with in one way or another, what I was seeing for you is because you are at this place of deep inner contemplation and desire for change and expansion, you may be questioning if this partner is right for you, if it's time to leave this partner or expand past them, um, things like that strong message that now is not the time to end this relationship and unless it's talk unless it's toxic and unhealthy right so i'm talking about um just you feeling discontent and wanting to end the relationship if you're feeling that way um i was shown clearly that it's not the right time for that and that this person is actually a really strong support system for you right now while you're kind of digging deep and going through some of these changes also a message that um, it can be easy to want to change things on the outside when we're feeling off on the inside. So um, take your focus off of the relationship and put it more onto you and just let the relationship be for a bit while you're working within. Um, sometimes it can be the personality just wanting to have control or make a change so it feels better about this uncomfortableness within, okay? So the message was it's not quite time to leave this relationship. They are a beautiful support system for you right now. Okay, for those of you who are single, I actually could see um, you do have a really strong desire to meet somebody and to explore a new relationship. So for those of you who are single, I see that your intentions are really pure in wanting to meet a beautiful partner. With that openness, I do see people coming in for you. So you may have um, one suitor or multiple suitors. And because you're in this phase of um, kind of digging deep and wanting change at an expansion at a soul level. Be mindful that you're choosing a new partner who is in alignment with that and that you're not just picking someone um, kind of as a distraction from this inner feeling that you're having. Okay, so I was seeing that who you choose at this time is really, really, really important. Okay, uh, let me see if there's anything else here for you. Yeah, so again, I do see suitors around you and suitors coming in for you. So be mindful of who you choose and who you spend um, your time with right now. Uh, because you are looking for change and you are looking for growth, it's important to have somebody who's in alignment with that, okay? So let me pull a card for the overall energy. Oh, I love it, Scorpio. <laughs> You've got elephant spirit, learn from the past. This is your overall energy for the reading. How beautiful is that with um, the other messages that came through clairvoyantly for you? You are, you're kind of at a turning point of your evolution. Learn, you know, maybe in the past you uh, ran away from a relationship in trying to, you know, fix the feeling that you were feeling inside when really that off feeling at a soul level had nothing to do with your partner. So it's learning from that. You are growing past that. I also see a lot of wisdom from that vision of those deep oak trees or redwood trees is the wisdom to learn from the past and to not make similar mistakes. So really beautiful overall energy, Scorpio. Let me see what else we've got for you here. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Beautiful cards out. We are starting with Hermit, Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups. Definitely a new beginning here for you. And this Hermit card is shining his lantern into a spiritual lesson that you are getting right now. And I feel that this lesson, kind of like what I was talking about, is a deep inner journey about what it is that you need and want um, change for in your life. Also, the Ace of Swords is a message around communicating some of the, the deep inner desires that you're exploring right now. So making sure that you're not like keeping them to yourself, you know, do your time for the self, uh, deep self reflection, but be open to sharing them with those around you. 
I also, for those of you who are single, I do see this as somebody new coming in for you. It might be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, the offer seems pretty straightforward. So um, being open to what they have to offer and also communicating with them about what it is that you have to offer and what you're wanting in regards to a relationship. But this is so beautiful, Scorpio, because I've also got Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. So you've got two aces out here already. So definitely new beginnings, fresh starts. Um, for those of you who are exploring at a deeper soul level of wanting changes, I see these cards as expansion coming in for you. For those of you who are in a relationship, it's expanding to deeper levels. It's allowing your partner to truly be a support system for you right now. And I also see a deepening of that relationship that can bring in more love and a stronger solid foundation moving forward. So it's funny because if some of you are thinking about ending or leaving the relationship, when you make the decision to stay and bring the focus back to you, that's when I see more love truly opening up here. So instead of wanting to change or end that relationship on the outside of you, it's working on what's going on inside of you and then allowing the relationship to be a support system for you. Blaming our partner for things is always the easiest way out, okay? <laughs> if you want to not take self-responsibility, that is always the easiest. We're all guilty of it, myself included. So, okay. It's all about the awareness, right? Next up, we've got King of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Two of Swords. This is really beautiful, Scorpio. This is you. I see your energy here as this King of Cups. So it's getting back into that place of love um, within your heart space, oh, keeping the heart open for this deep love. And it's there. For those of you who do have a significant other, I, I strongly see that this person can be your person forever. They are your grounding force. They are your support um, in this. And with these two cards, it's a really beautiful confirmation of that. Two of Swords here comes back to the message that it is not time to make a decision one way or another in regards to this relationship. Um, you don't have all the information necessary. You may be a little bit skewed in what you're feeling just because it's such a deep inner um, soul thing speaking through to you. So it's giving yourself time to explore that before you make a decision around something, okay? So let's see. I've got Virgo energy out here also on... Um, strong water. So if it's not another Scorpio, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. I'm also seeing earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, and I also, I already mentioned Virgo. Um, but two aces, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of fresh starts coming out for you, Scorpio, as this year wraps up. So use this energy to really dig deep of what it is you want to leave in this year and what you're taking with you into next year. Because um, this deep soul searching that you are doing, it is helping to um, kind of release layers that you may have been holding that has kept you um, a little bit stuck. But I just see, again, aces, knight of cups, knight of pentacles. Those are beautiful cards of new chapters, new beginnings, and newness. Um, and, you know, the with the foundation, a solid foundation to grow from. Oh man, you can't make this up, Scorpio. You've got divine timing. Yes, it is. Now is your time to be doing that deep soul reflecting, um, the deep inner searching that you're doing. You are cosmically supported. You are supported by the universe. Your soul is guiding you. So trust all of that. The timing is perfect. You are not late for anything and you are not behind, okay? You are exactly where you are supposed to be. I literally just felt you take a sigh of relief <laughs> as that message came through for you. Take the pressure off, Scorpio. Oh, beautiful. Your spirit animal message is puffin. Partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. 
teamwork will give you the best results. How beautiful, Scorpio. There's so much deep inner reflection happening within you right now, but you know, leaning on your specific person or your partner or a close friend is so important right now, especially as you're going through some of these changes and this expansion. So partnership, you don't have to do this alone. Beautiful messages. I really hope this resonates with you. If not, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Scorpio. Thank you for the thumbs up. They really do uh, make a difference. And I love reading your messages below the video. So thank you for taking the time to write me a little note. Um, if you missed the intro, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I also do distance energy healing and therapy. So um, the links below to my website, all the information is there for you. I also offer a 15% discount for your very first session with me. It doesn't matter where you live. I've been working with clients globally um, for the last four years now. So again, the link is below all everything is there for you and I think that's it Scorpio my goodness I am wishing you a wonderful holiday season a beautiful finish to 2021 and I am looking forward I will see you guys back here for the first half of January readings take care